This is Tuesday, April 29th, period four. Woo. Um, we're recording a video about, um, about tangent, graphs of tangent. And everybody in this room is aware that they are being recorded. I don't want to be recorded. You can all speak your piece now. I don't want to be recorded. Peace spoken. Okay. Plugging in the microphone. What if I was being serious? I don't know. <clears throat> All right, so we've got a definition of a vertical asymptote, a vertical line that the graph of a function approaches but never touches or crosses because it is not defined there. Moving on to the tangent graph. Here is the tangent graph. Tangent is a periodic function and its period is only pi. Tangent cycle is shorter than that of sine and cosine, and its shape, as you see, is not a sinusoidal curve. Um, there are vertical asymptotes in the tangent graph. There are places where tangent is not defined, and the function is approaching positive okay. infinity and negative infinity at the vertical asymptotes. Um, just write down def, uh, tangent is a periodic function. The period of tangent is pi. And then I will walk you through how to sketch this graph. All right, so I'm going to walk you through sketching this curve. Um, again, we're going to set up our axes from negative 4 pi to positive 4 pi. And you should be getting really good at drawing these axes pretty quickly by now. Axis. I know Selena had asked a question just a minute ago about how high it should go. It's really irrelevant. Okay? Yeah, I said you need to go. I'm going to pause and let you guys label your axes. All right, so let's just observe what this looks like so we can sketch it ourselves. Where are the zeros of tangent? Zero, and then again at? at pi oh, and at two pi high. and at negative pi. So the zeros are occurring at every pi. multiple of pi. Very nice. The vertical asymptotes are occurring where? At the odd multiples of pi over two, okay? So let's go back to our hand-drawn graph, okay? I'm gonna put zeros at every multiple of pi. And then I'm going to draw vertical asymptotes at every odd multiple of pi over 2. Now, the vertical asymptotes are not actually part of the graph, but they give you a visual image of what line the graph is approaching but never touching. So here we go. Vertical dotted lines. And we make them dotted so that the user or the reader knows that um, they're not really part of the graph. They're just giving your, your eye a guideline. Vertical asymptotes at all of the odd multiples of pi over 2. Okay. What did you say? Nothing. You dropped Criticize. it. You dropped it. Criticizing my like dotted yeah. vertical lines? No. Maybe. <clears throat> okay, so to the right of every zero, as tangent gets closer to the vertical asymptote, 
The graph is concave up and approaching, but never becoming vertical. Because if it were vertical, then it wouldn't be a function. Okay? And at that point, at the vertical asymptote, it's not a function. The function is not defined there. To the left of that zero, oops, it's not dotted, it's on, is concave down approaching the vertical asymptote. And that cycle continues every pi. So we've got concave up, concave down, concave up, concave down. One, here's one cycle of a tangent function. One cycle. Now this is different than sine and cosine. With sine and cosine, one cycle happens between zero and two pi. Okay. Now if I were to take a look, let me just take a look at the function. If I were to t take a look at tangent, and if I were to look at zero to pi. The function is not continuous there. There's a vertical asymptote right here. There's a line of discontinuity. And so in order to keep one cycle continuous, we've decided as mathematicians to have one cycle cover a negative and a positive. And so I just wanted you to be aware of that when you graph one cycle. You're graphing from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. So here we've got a negative angle <clears throat> as part of the parent graph. That's the parent graph of tangent.